we try to use every part of nature and the environment outside that we can to our benefit, but by also giving these plants the optimal grow environment 24 seven, 365 days a year. We do that at Eden Green by controlling the actual climate around the plant and focusing on what the plant needs all the time, uh, during day, during night, how we can supplement that in the summer and the winter. We're actually trying to be seasonally agnostic and give this plant the best growing conditions year round. The fact that other people are failing and other people are succeeding, that's going to happen in any industry you go to. But specifically for us, I think that uh, especially as sustainable as we're trying to be, the sustainable competitors, I think, are going to start winning. Use the overhead. So the overheads, then when the tomatoes come out in September, October, these pressure. I hadn't thought of that. That makes sense. And um, we control the water through the little trickle irrigation line. This farm is supporting those trees and those patches of forest and these weeds and all the plants and animals that are in. Sorry, I shouldn't have called them weeds. These meadows, <laughs> and you know, there's there's hawks and and. Uh, uh, other birds flying overhead and you're not going to find that on an indoor farm. An indoor farm doesn't have any of those benefits. We are missing out on enough investment money going to more traditional farming. There's a huge opportunity to invest in traditional farming to increase productivity, reduce the carbon footprint of farming, um, you know, increase the nutritional quality. That's the kind of investment that we should be looking to, is practical solutions to the problems of real farming, not sort of making up some new kind of farming. Controlled environment agriculture is coming into a space that's, you know, this is this is necessary now. We've come to a point of necessity that like traditional ag is not the most convenient or environmentally friendly way to grow things on a large scale and produce them as quickly as we need them. We are just trying to supplement something that we recognize is already an issue. So I think that moving forward, that sustainability has to be a conversation, uh, regardless of where we're growing our food.